All right, folks, good morning. Uh, today's Saturday, September something. Shit, I don't even know. But today I'm off my 14 day self imposed, not self imposed, well, home quarantine after you come back to the Philippines on the honor system. I know a lot of people probably don't uh, honor that, but you know what? I'm here on YouTube broadcasting what I do every day. So, uh, everybody on my channel all 26,500 plus of you thank you very much for being a subscriber are witnesses to the fact that i spent my 14 days on this balcony you know got a negative test coming into the airport quarantine for 14 days folks i'm probably the safest person around here if you worried about shit like that but uh but it's up that's the concludes the process of getting back to the Philippines and getting back into uh, society. But today is a beautiful day. I mean, just check out this palm tree behind me here on my mountain. I got the sun coming up. We got all kind of people down here on Times Square. Got the backpack loaded up. Got my new shoes on. Now, when I was in America, I uh, did make a huge purchase of some new shoes after you know those those villains stole our whole box of shoes last what january when we moved here still ain't seen no sighting of any of those shoes folks my goodness it was a big old box of shoes brand new waterproof boots and they took them all but i got mo and joe mo and joe ready to go and we're ready to put some miles on these dogs so I'm ready to get back into exercising, folks. Ready to get back into the into the swing. So without further ado, we're about to pull out of here. And I always feel bad when I walk out on my walks because all, you got all these tricycle drivers over here. You know, and they're waiting for a fare, obviously. And they see the foreign dude come out. And when they see the foreign guy, they know that they can either charge you more or if they charge you the same rate. They know you're probably gonna float, uh, float them a tip. So when they see you come out, they get excited. And I, I do feel bad for them when I, like fellas, I'm going for my exercise, you know? They're like, damn. Uh, but you know, I mean, that's life. I'm not, I'm not going from point A to point B. And if I were, I'd be calling Jason and Francis anyhow. That's my crew. But can't help but feel sorry for these gentlemen when they see me coming out. Uh, that's it folks if you're not a subscriber on my channel it's that bottom right hand corner of your screen right there somewhere in there hit that little overstay road sign click the bell that way you get notified because i don't have a production schedule i just post videos whenever the wind blows me towards the computer or the ipad all right let's see what kind of trouble we can get into today and here we go all right, folks. Looks like we're recording. I am loose. Loose on the streets. Wow. Good morning. I'm loose on the streets. Good morning. And... Look at that beautiful mountain over there. Folks, I just never get tired of looking at the mountains. I know this is not exactly the, uh, not exactly the Rocky Mountains, but the sun shining down with that black rock face on the mountain is beautiful for me to look at. And I hope I got the right angle on the dangle. It's gonna take me a minute to uh, get back accustomed to uh, getting the right angle on the backpack mount here and a nice little vegetable market some fish here good morning good morning yeah so out and about on my walk that's some little local rooms right there nice
and we'll see what's going on in the world here i'm gonna try to make it try to make it across the uh, river over to barrio barreto i don't know if that may be a problem or not but i'm just excited to be out so thanks everybody for joining me for this little walking tour this is probably going to be a long video because i'm gonna go for a long walk all right she's got a bus coming through somebody asked me if i've seen any buses those are like all contract buses or you know like buses for the front line or some type of special purpose that ain't no pack full of the public up in there so i haven't been out very much but the answer to the question are the buses running well i haven't seen any you know public buses like Saris buses or victory liner that opinion may change when i get up here to the main road but look folks i know a lot of this information is already out there other people's channels but you have to understand i'm giving you life from my perspective through one man's perspective And this dude hasn't been here. I haven't had feet on the ground on this pavement in over two and a half months. Went to the US for two months. Been quarantined for two weeks. So you're getting information here from a limited perspective. Morning, my friend, how are you? Yeah. You're getting it from a limited one man's perspective traveling through time sign right here now the other day when Faye and them came through there were actually still people here from the Bronga I'm in in this checkpoint but as you can see ain't nobody here today that's a damn good sign you didn't watch any of my previous videos during these lockdowns just imagine coming that far away from your house there being this makeshift uh, checkpoint yeah, people asking you for your papers, for your travel pass, where's your, where's your quarantine pass. I mean, I hate to say it, but you know, when you live like, like that, you understand what it was like. Berlin back in the day Fucking East Berlin All right again, hope I got the right angle for the dangle Well, it's really sort of concerning though hopefully they change it in the in the uh, near future is okay in in the public transport you're supposed to be wearing a face shield but it also applies to the driver i think that's real distracting for the driver that's my personal opinion you know you're wearing a mask already but then you add that face shield it's got to be distracting be coming down through here next to Magdalena kind of miss living over here at Magdalena place miss living there kids go to the pool I'm sure the damn pool's probably closed right now but go to the playground every night and the pool's perfect 
I love the penthouse suite. Got good people there too, but we had a great landlord in Magdalene. Sweet lady. Shout out to you, Miss Teresa. Hit little puppy dog. Cute little dachshund just chilling. Getting ready to go on a walk, I imagine. All right, so we got shops open here. New little shop right there. Those gentlemen. All right, folks, that was that was Francis right there. Taking sea cell somewhere. No telling where she's going. She might be going to Jolly Bee. So I did I did get it from a couple other sources that there is a Jolly Bee open up here. I thought Faye was just joking with me to be honest with you. Maybe I saw it when I came in. I can't shit. My mind goes to shit these days. But apparently they are not joking. And when I asked them about that Jolly Bee, everybody perked up. Just praying that the foreign dude brings back chicken and rice. I just don't understand it. There's two guys out in front of the store that sell pretty good chicken. And get rice. But they want that chicken and rice from Jolly Bee. All right, look at this activity up here. A good sign. Get the. Uh, I didn't get the trike holding area over to the right, but it's it's probably 30, 40 trike drivers in there. Sawmill. Well, folks, it's about I think it's about 7.30, maybe 8 in the morning. Not real sure. It's morning time. Saturday morning. And what I was like, I was glad to see the past couple, well, couple Friday nights and the last Saturday night was that I saw some girls getting dudded up. When I say getting dudded up, they were uh, going out. They were all slicked out, going somewhere. I don't know if they're going to somebody's house to have a get together or a restaurant. I, I don't know, but I saw people actually getting dressed and slicked out and dudded up, ready for a Friday night, Saturday night out somewhere. I can't say on the town, but they're going out somewhere. Let's take a look around. Oh shit, there is a Jolly Bee. Oh my goodness. They were not lying. How did they put that Jolly Bee up within two months? My goodness, that's a big one too. Hmm. All right, try to get this way. We'll try to get over to uh, Barrio Barreto to, uh, to get to the ATM machine. So I get across here. All I'm doing is following the traffic, folks. I do what the locals do. So I just saw a couple people on bicycles go this way successfully. So why try to reinvent the wheel? I don't know what the normal flow is, so I just observed the locals. They went this way, so I'll go this way. Try not to film these gentlemen too much, but they do have a checkpoint over here to the left. But it, compared to what it was, it's a skeleton crew. Oh shit, damn dog right there. I don't know if that dog is sleeping or dead. Get a look at the river. Got a fish on this side, but easier to see the fish on the other side.
Yeah, so we got foot traffic on both sides, folks. I might actually make it. I might actually make it up here. I think what I need to do is pop back over to the other side. Uh, because that's what because that's what the locals did when in Rome do as the Romans coming up here on Divi Mart see what's going on with the Divi Mart Maybe stopping in there on the way back. Hey, nobody home with the Divi Mart, but it is open. But I suppose you may have to have a face shield to go in there. Um, I think so. I'm coming out with a face shield. Now, I didn't bring my face shield. I just brought my... Uh, I brought my backup Ziploc face shield, which may have to suffice. All right, so I still got the checkpoint here, but folks, this checkpoint here at Beloit Beach is always here. So you can't really gauge things. Because that checkpoint, I mean, it's not manned all the time. They're not stopping traffic, but I'm just saying there's always a presence of... Uh, authorities right here at Beloy Beach but they they're still checking got the Angels Burger looks like it's open get the big plastic cover all right a little restaurant over there is open All right, so the hard part of my little journey is out of the way. Successfully made it to Barrio Barreto. Looks like there's no issues. And we got a little produce stand open as normal. That's good news. I gotta get back across the street. Just work a little zigzag pattern. There we go. Too easy. Good to be back on the streets of Barrio Barreto. But he's still got these low hanging wires hanging even a little lower. Look at that tangle mess, folks. My goodness, I gotta bend down so I don't get hit one of them wires. Just thing back to working here. All right, looks like we're recording. So I'm here at the Midnight Rambler. And looks like they're open. It's at nine, no, no. nine to six, they're open. Man, somebody got to fix these wires. This is too funny. Still got the local businesses putting up their own little... Uh, check that out. That's a RC, two RC boxes with a homemade uh, two by four stand keeping these wires up. That's the only thing keeping them up. All right, so it looks like the liquor store is open. They got some cigars in there, which I got to pick up some cigars. That's a good sign. Hub activity over there at the money changing place. Not the money changing, the money picking up place. Still doing work on these sidewalks over here. Now you can see right here, I mean, this is straight, right? 
but he's still working on the left side of the road over there. Folks, another public service announcement. You know, when you're walking here in Barrio Barreto, you know, they've widened this road. The question is, is it for pedestrians or vehicles or, or for vehicles to park? So it's not clear. So as you can see, people are gonna drive on it when they can drive on it. They're gonna park on it when they can park on it. And like me, I'm gonna walk on it when I can walk on it. Boom, right there which leads to a dangerous competition at speed. So if you are here in Barreto, you gotta exercise some caution when walking down this road. I'd say it's, a it's more dangerous than walking around Angeles City for sure. Just because of the confusion. I mean, look, if you got that wide open road, well, vehicles are gonna whip over into that lane and haul ass. It's just natural. There you go. Public service announcement. Okay. Got the ATM there with the Arlene's is closed. Morning. I got the thumb star. I'm not sure what the status is. And shout out to that young lady that just passed me. Whatever shampoo that girl uses, man, that shampoo smelled good. Gotta get some of that for the old lady. All right, Alaska Club. Now, Dennis, my buddy Dennis, uh, told me that the Alaska Club, some of these bars are open. I hope that to be true. So Angel Bakery, Monday through Saturday, 8 to 6, is open. And maybe they've been like that for a while, but when I left, like the hours are changing. So I think on the way out of here, I'm going to buy me some uh, meat, cheese, and some bread. And folks, in the grand scheme of things, the prices over there are very, very reasonable. If you go over there and get a pack of meat, pack of cheese, and a pack of bread, you can make sandwiches for days. What we got going on here? Central Park Reef. Uh, I don't know. Don't. Not sure if it's open or not. But I'll tell you, folks, this is a really nice place. I was able to go in the rooms uh, several times before the shutdown and i was actually able to get up to the rooftop bar we got a rooftop bar and swimming pool it's sort of theme like uh the filling station it's got a 50s theme to it it was really cool but i didn't film it because at the time it was starting to lock down i wasn't supposed to be up there a little bit of 50s themed in there from what i remember Okay, so here's some big changes for me. So Rum Jungle is now the green room, sports, music, and food. And then up top, you've got Barcelona. Hold on, let me check the camera. Yeah, we're still recording. You got Barcelona up top, and then uh, Rome Jungle is now the green room. Looks like a fresh coat of paint. And let's see. Wet spot's about the same. All right, and they still, they still have this blocked off here going towards Donito. Uh, going towards Donito and uh, Sitting Bull. But it's no problem if you're walking. You can, if you're walking, you can get through there. If you're on the trike, you just have to take a side street, I guess. 
man i may have to stop by sitting bull drink a beer say hello to the ladies give you another look over at barcelona folks you see these sidewalks that's why you don't stumble out of places like this drunk at two in the morning you just take a trike home so there's barcelona up there definitely got to go up there drink me a couple beers but yeah so it looks like rum jungle is no more it's the green room all right well things change time's team back on the road here Cheap Charlie's up there. Not sure what their status is. Man, folks, what I wouldn't give. You know, back every Friday night. When you had uh, SOB night at these clubs. You know, it's like, ah, should I go? Should I not go? Sometimes I went. Sometimes I didn't go. What I would not give for... Uh, Hello. What I would not give for there to be an SOB night back to fucking normal. Okay, so let me give you a look right here. It's a crazy horse. It's now open 12 to 8 Monday through Saturday. Okay, so that's what Dennis was saying. Dennis was saying that the clubs are, you know, obviously closing early because of the curfew. Local beer, 60 pesos got the voodoo so you know what they were they were smart about it remember what i said is during these lockdowns what they should do is do all the road work when there was nobody riding on the roads but some of these folks were smart they said okay during the shutdown we're gonna fucking rehab our businesses so when the lockdown lifts we got a brand new brand new look so there you go it's like a brand new building and sitting bull annex is open well they got happy hour nine to noon and four to seven 55 pesos right there so i don't know if they took down that little outside seating i don't know i have to figure that out Look over to Bismarck. We're gonna keep trucking. There's only a couple people waiting to get into Bismarck. That's a good sign too. And folks, hopefully these lockdowns never happen again like they like they did. You know, like I was. But if they do, I've warned everybody, it's, you're much better, one of the best places to be locked down is here in Barrio Barreto, in this country. Because you don't have long lines at the markets, at the ATM machines. You got a few good restaurants that stayed open. Huge difference between being locked down over on the Subic side. Go back and look at those videos. You'll know what I'm talking about. I mean, going to the ATM machine, 15, 20 people standing in line. Then the damn thing runs out of money. All right, got these two here. And you know, I don't think I've ever been in those bars. I'm going to have to change it up and go up in there. So look around. Building the second deck on that building. All right, let's keep trucking. I feel like a, I feel like a, I feel like I just did a 12-year stretch in prison, and I just got out on parole today. I love this. Watch this. That is a beautiful sight to see a jeepney. Now, looks like they got plastic. Oh my God, they got plastic barriers inside the jeepney. I don't know if you can see that. Try to give you a better look. There's plastic barriers inside the jeepney. 
which makes no sense because everybody's wearing shorts and t-shirts so their skin oil sweat is touching that and then when you sit down you're touching the guy's sweat oil don't make no sense but the jeepneys are running you have to wear a face mask and a face shield and then they have these little plastic uh see-through dividers and barriers yeah guess that's the price of progress so there's only so many people that can fit in them jeepneys now where before it was a scientific fact that there was always room morning morning there's always room for one more in a jeepney it used to be the scientific fact but it's not now because of the plastic barriers the 7-eleven if anybody's looking for a commercial space for rent it's got a small kitchen and office two toilets and baths right above this uh 7-eleven put your little business in there all right so one of my liquor stores it might just be too early before they open up it's early in the morning so the velvet touch is back i love it i love that sign right there the velvet touch lounge and bar is back love it how can you not love that they don't say what day what time what have you but they're back in action that's a good sign Not familiar, there's another ATM machine right there. Dynamite Dicks, folks, is open. So 8.20, 8.20 in the morning, Dynamite Dicks is open. Great time in there. Shout out to my buddy Carl, man. I hope I don't get you in trouble by just giving you that shout out, but fuck it. All right, Playa Papagayo restaurants open that's a great little place right there little papagayo all right just did a quick stop check the the battery on the gopro holding it 42 percent now i've said before when you get down to about half chop on the batteries you should change them out because it gets too hot and it starts to skip or you might have uh, glitching problems. So I'm gonna finish out the end of this and I'm gonna go ahead and swap out my batteries. And what I've noticed about the batteries too, because I don't, I don't think there's anybody out there that's shot more video on a GoPro Hero 8 than me. It just can't be. Ooh, that barbershop is open. I meant to give me a proper haircut. Say proper. I mean, wife number one does pretty good on my haircuts, but you know, for 50 pesos, 100 pesos, I do like. I enjoy, I enjoy visiting the barber shop. You know, it's an experience. You get to do a little cheesemas with the barber. You know, the barber and the your uh, hairdresser. They know everything about everybody. It's always a good time. A lot of beautiful ladies out walking around Barrio Beretta today. Beautiful ladies everywhere. Hello, how are you girl? Huh? You doing okay? Yes. Good to see you. Did you meet Dennis? Yeah, Dennis is over in Angeles right now. Uh, I thought he's 
there in Beloit. Ah, he already go. You're still vlogging? Yeah, I'm recording you right now. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you at now? Alaska. Alaska? Yeah. What, what time it open? Tomorrow? Uh, maybe. Because Sunday, I think it's closed. Oh, yeah, tomorrow. yeah. Tomorrow, Sunday, right? Yeah. So, what? You work Monday, Tuesday? Maybe. Did you leave us on Sunday? We don't know if we work tomorrow. Okay, well, next next Monday and Tuesday, I'll come see if you're there so I can, okay. I can buy you a beer. Beer? Yeah. Wow. Or, or I'll what, what, I tell you what I'll buy you. I'm going to get you an extra large service water. <laughs> service water? Yeah, that's what I always get you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> all right, girl. Good to see you. All right. I'll see you on Monday. Okay. All right. Folks, sweet lady right there. Such a sweet girl. It's uh, good I ran into her. So I'll have to go check her out on Monday or Tuesday. A little meat shop right here. Another important place right here. If you're not familiar, Barrio Barreto is a coffee shop. Great coffee. Uh, and their sign says they're open since July 6th. So the coffee shop, you come to Barrio Barreto, you gotta go in there and get some coffee. Coffee and uh, what they got, burritos, the jumbo taco. Folks, everything in there is delicious and it's it's like local prices. Local prices. So again, another positive about Barrio Barreto, especially if you're uh, if you had to go through another one of these lockdowns. Build your own breakfast. Alright, so this place is still open. The Arizona Club back to being the Arizona I thought at one point it was a red doors maybe that's no more I'm just telling you what the sign says it says Arizona Resort you got your own breakfast here and now open and I have no idea if they're floating bars out there you know what I'll step in here and ask the gentleman let me put my mask back up here let me just ask him Hello, sir. Good morning. Hey, is the floating bar open? Yes, sir, open. The floating bar? A floating bar, no. No, no floating bar? Yeah. Yeah, diving and bar. But this bar is open? Uh, what? what? 1.30. 1.30? Yeah. What time it closed? Uh, 9.30. Okay. So 1.30, the bar is open, but no, no floating bar? Uh, no floating bar. Uh, okay. Uh, Thank you very much, my friend. Have a good one. Yes, sir. All right, so there you go people ask me about the floating bar so no floating bar at the arizona i have to check the blue rock because dennis sent me photos of what appeared to be the blue rocks floating bar beached over there i don't know So folks, everything is looking up here in Barrio Barreto. I'm here to tell you. It is looking up. Everything is going in a positive direction. All we need now is for them to open back up the airports, declare this uh, pandemic over and done with, and get, to get the tourism back in here. And I know probably about 80% of you listen to my voice. You're just sitting there biding your time, waiting to get back over here to your loved ones. I know. I mean, I was in that situation. And I would still be in that situation if it wasn't for uh, resolution number 60, which allowed me to uh, get back here. But you know, if you just got a girlfriend or a fiance, 
or if your kids don't have all the, the the right documents you know you don't qualify for that and the heart goes out to you but as bad as it see as it seems things are actually going in a positive direction at least here in barrio barreto so who knows everybody asked me when are they going to open it back up for tourism and folks i i don't have a magic crystal ball so I, I can't tell you that. I don't know. I'd be just be guessing. Just coming up with something out of my ass. But uh, you look at things in steps, take in the big picture. All right, you got restaurants opening up. You got some bars opening up. Letting back in the foreign spouses and parents. It's just a little bit slow getting to uh, opening up for everybody. All right, Super Pearl Beach Resort. What are they calling them things? Just gonna head down this way to see what's going on at the uh, we'll wait for this car. See what's happening at the hospital just to see if it's busy, what the parking lot looks at looks like. One of the things I was saying about this GoPro, shooting on a GoPro Hero 8 Black. There's probably no one out there who's shot more video, more hours of video than me on a GoPro Hero 8 Black. If there is, I, I doubt it. That's what I shoot on every day. But I like the audio, the picture's pretty good, stabilizations jam up. Got a few quirks about it. But what I've noticed is that basically after coming up on a year of daily use with this piece of equipment, the batteries are starting to swell. And when I say swell, like you shoot, I'm shooting 4K60, so obviously this thing heats up. And those batteries swell to the point that you can't pull them out. I mean, they're literally just fucking locked in there and you've got to let it cool down to, uh, to get the batteries out. So I don't know, maybe after a year of use on the batteries, it probably need to replace them. I certainly don't need one of these bad boys blowing up because I've got this thing mounted close to my face. So just a tidbit of info for the engineers over there at GoPro. Been using the hell out of your product every day for a year. Got a few quirks, but overall, great product. But the batteries are starting to swell up or I can't pull the damn things out. The little tabs aren't enough. What you gotta do is actually bang it on the table like a hammer. Get it to pop out. Okay, so coming up to the hospital. All right, so they still have the, uh, they still got the tent out there, like the triage tents outside, it looks like. And there's a few cars in the parking lot, so it looks like we're back to normal of what a normal day would look like at Our Lady of Lords. Let me get across here. Boom, shaka laka laka. Yeah, so just a quick quick overview of the hospital. And folks, it's, it's not a bad little hospital. 
we're fortunate to have that here in Barrio Barreto. Um, they've always did us right over there. That's where our pediatrician is. You know, I've had a couple buddies go in there. But there you go. Our Lady of Lords International Medical Center. And what, you, what you'll see here, folks, um, you know, every hospital, every region's got a different level of care. Much different than the West, obviously, but like Forrest G was born over there at AUF, Angeles University Foundation Medical Center. And what you, what you learn, at least at that place, is like, you know, these buildings are a little bit dated. So the building is dated and you're like, damn, it's an old ass rundown hospital. But then when you get back into the actual treatment rooms, they have brand new equipment. Now that's on, that's on those particular hospitals. Now you go way out in the province, it's not going to be like that. You go way out to the province or some of these islands, their hospitals are basically aid stations. They don't even have uh, ACLS. Just basic stuff. They can stitch you up if you got a minor laceration, something like that. But if you're having a heart attack, they're going to pop an IV. Maybe give you some aspirin and they're going to wait to transfer you to a real hospital. They, it's just an aid station. Hello, good morning. But these hospitals here are pretty good. Our Lady of Lords and uh, AUF over in Angeles. Okay, now if you're looking for an apartment or a townhouse, you can read the sign. Our landlord from over in uh, Magdalena owns some units in there. And they're, uh, they're bigger, they're bigger townhouses, they're bigger units, right? They're a little bit older, but they're, they're bigger units if you're looking for a lot more room. And plus you're here in Barrio Barreto, walking distance to all the action. All right, so now we're back headed northbound, folks. Back to headed northbound. Here on National Highway. Not much action between here and the coffee shop, so I'll shut her down and let the GoPro take a break. Check out this building, how nice it looks. It's the Public Safety Savings and Loan Association Incorporated, PSS LAI. Beautiful building. Got a big ass oak tree over there. What a nice building. Get a point of this beautiful tree right here. It just changes the temperature. The temperature for me just went from like 90 on my head to uh, about 70 underneath these trees. Now I've talked about it before. If you're going to find a place here or anywhere in the tropics if you find a room an apartment a house or whatever that's under some shade trees morning 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 if you if you find uh, a place that's under these trees you're talking the difference between having to run an air conditioner all day in the heat and not having to run an air conditioner at all big difference And I know, I know that might be common sense, but you know, you come over here trying to live dirt cheap on a budget. Next thing you go, you got a big ass electric bill. Cause folks, it gets fucking hot during the day. So if you're the top unit on a apartment building or your, your place is sitting out in the middle of direct sunlight, well, you're gonna be running an air conditioner. When we're in that $28 beach condo underneath those mango trees down there we were cool as cucumbers didn't even have an air conditioner didn't need an air conditioner and our light bill was seven eight bucks a month basically because of the mango tree and here's the police headquarters already passed the highway patrol but here's the police headquarters coming back up on the coffee shop Hello, my friends. How are you? How are you? All right.
right, it's got a little bit of construction going on. Still here where the trike drivers always line up. It looks nice through there. They've paved this road. I mean, it looks really nice. Once they get it paved with concrete, you see total, total different look and feel. Got the sewers covered up. Now look at this street. It looks beautiful. If they just get the rest of uh, Barreto looking like this, looks like a, a, bland, a brand new place. All right, and there's your coffee shop. Folks, again, uh, get some coffee, some food at the coffee shop. You'd be glad you did. But I'm already starting to sweat, so I'm thinking maybe, maybe a beer if one of these places are are open by the time I come back through here. Man, it's such a wonderful, wonderful sight to see Jeepneys back in operation. Rolling on the river. Now that dude coming through there playing Credence. And this shop over here playing music. I'll probably have to cut that out or my video will get demonetized. So the question was asked, uh, are the buses running? Well, I'd have to say this direction they're not because as you can see, there's plenty of jeepneys coming and going. But I haven't seen the first victory liner. Saris, nothing. Got to get these buses back running, folks, where people can get out and see their families. I mean, believe it or not, there, there's still people stuck in certain places, haven't seen their families, you know, haven't been able to go home. Got the lotto place open. People betting on them numbers. There's the uh, RAO. Uh, it says close. But again, it's early in the morning. It's only at 9 in the morning. Fresh options open. All right, so here's the new dentist's office. I say new. Because I we usually go to the other one over here. That's a nice looking dentist's office. Hand soap, liquid beach, got a salon there. Little laundry shop. So I'm not sure about the uh, I've never been to that other dentist, but all my ladies, we take them here to a Bossus Dental Clinic. Dr. Gary Bossus, always take care of the ladies. And it says the dentist is in. I'm about to make an appointment for uh, wife number one. Get that grill looked at. Every Tuesday, you got an RSL meeting. I don't know what RSL is, 2 p.m. All right, 1.30 to 5.30 is happy hour, 60 pesos, all beer. I don't know if that's an old sign or new sign, but right there, you got the sign that says the Velvet Lounge is back. All right, so still rocking it on here. I got a little laundromat. Morning, my friend, how are you? Just walking, brother. Just looking. Nah, I'm good, my friend. Thank you. Sam's Pizza.
Got some little shops open down through there. Everything looking good here, Beretta. All right, got the Palawan is open. No problem right there. Need to send money out to the province, no problem. Not sure what they're building up on the second deck of this, this place right here. Got a second deck going up. Now the question is, what's going on with the church, folks? That's really been the tragedy tragedy of all this situation is church is getting shut down. I don't know if they're back to operation, back to uh, running services. I don't know, but at least the gates are open. That's an improvement from uh, what was going on. Got a couple roosters for sale, chilling out here. All right, now folks, I'm, I'm going to tell you again. You come over here to Barrio Barreto and get to drinking. And you get to stumbling around. I'm not sure that man's chicken. You get drunk and you stumble out of the Bismarck into that fucking cesspool right there. Okay. That's a problem. No, thank you, my brothers. Thank you. Morning. Morning. So when you get drunk as I do, okay, I'm I'm showing you right here. This is why you don't you don't stumble out of a bar drunk and try to walk home. All right, a dollar for a trike ride will save your ass from drowning in a fucking sewer. Try to get around this equipment here. Without getting, without getting flattened. Put a, put a, put a recent sign up just like uh, the Crazy Horse had. Put a sign up that says, yeah, we're now open and here's the hours. That's gonna make the difference on people who ain't from around here and somehow or another make their way over here. Alright, no, I gotta stop in the, uh, let's see, look, this used to be Rum Jungle, and now it's the green room. Things change. Come through here. And this little buffet restaurant is closed down. Okay, so Barcelona, maybe they open at 12 or 1, and I'm not sure, well, I think you go right through there, so we'll check back with them at 1, definitely want to get up there, have a beer, check out their view. We'll come down through here, folks, when we first moved here, we, li believe we lived in Donito Hotel, me and my good buddy Dennis. I'm right here, right next to it. It served us well for while we stayed there. Morning. 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 Okay, so it looks like the Tiger Gym is open, but you gotta wear a face mask. Oh, dog scared the shit out of me. I can't I can't work out with a face mask. Look at there, nice little new laundry. If you're looking for a place to uh, get your laundry done. And I don't know if it's open or not. Now you're looking for a furnished apartment. Right here, there's apartments all up on this hill up there. You'll have to just check in to see what they have available. Shout out to my buddy up there. He had one of the apartments on the top. You now it's like a million steps to get up there, but then he's got this great view. Morning. 
morning good morning this is muay thai kickboxing gym i thought about taking my ass to getting back into muay thai all right let's come into sitting bowl i'm gonna stop the camera in case there's some people don't want to be. all right folks just drank a couple beers over at uh sitting bowl sitting bowls open for business come on in get a cold beer get some food shout out to my new friends uh rich and robert we had a great conversation in there and folks there was a rumor floating around a few days ago about an american gentleman that got killed over on beloit beach and i didn't want to talk about it because i thought it was just a rumor but now it's looking more and more like it's true and if it's not you know I, I don't like perpetuating shit that i don't know that's true or not but now i've heard it from several sources there's an article about it so i'm going to tell you about it but apparently a 75 year old american dude got killed by two young kuyas over on beloit beach last sunday and if rumors first came from the old lady first came from the old lady and Faye and Francis. But you know, I wanna make sure it's it's accurate information. That's serious fucking info before I put that shit out there. But that's what uh I heard it from them firsthand the next morning, and then I heard it from an article, and now I've heard it from in there. So I'm gonna pull up that article in a minute and I'll read it. But it's a 75-year-old American gentleman who used to be an actor. It sounds like it was a robbery. I think they said it happened at like 2.30 in the morning. If it's 2.30 in the morning, it sounds like a robbery, but... Um, hold on, let me ask this young lady here. Hello. Hey, what, what time does Barcelona open? At 11? What else is open in here? Is this a restaurant now? It's what? Oh, takeout only? What time is it open? We're open already. Open already? Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. So I don't think Barcelona is open yet. And the folks, I'm about to get rain the fuck on. My goodness. It's fucking raining. I'd much be better off if it was raining on me while I'm in a bar. The news on the street unconfirmed is that a 75 year old gentleman got killed over in Beloit Beach I think it was last Sunday again I'll pull up the article I'll read you the article but if it's not true it is the rumor and the word on the street and they caught the two Kuya supposedly down in Bataan or somewhere not exactly sure But if that's the case, let me put one more piece of information out there. Our people have asked me throughout this, this lockdown, you know, about, hey, is it safe? People starting to rob the foreigners. Folks, I haven't seen that. But a couple weeks ago, over in the uh, Barangay, supposedly two young Kuyas came through and they had two broken gold chains and they were trying to sell them on the cheap like 500 pesos for a gold chain and they said that they had got them off some foreigners over in uh, barrio barreto and again i don't know if that's true or not i'm just telling you what the rumor was that was a rumor two weeks ago from the ladies that those kids had come through trying to sell those gold chains so if you got if you got your shit robbed over here in Beretta about a couple weeks ago, send me a message. I don't know much else about it, but they just said it was two little Muslim kids. Um, folks, I don't know if that's anything out of the ordinary. I mean, people right now are hurting for money over here. That's a given. But you got crime wherever you go in the world, whether it's a lockdown or not. Is it gonna is it gonna deter me from going out at night? Fuck no gonna deter me or make make me live my life any different no it's not going to you just have to take certain precautions and 
you know i'm sure the whole story will come out about this 75 year old gentleman that got swacked over there in beloit beach heart goes out to him and his family uh, but this is this you know it's life some fucking evil motherfuckers in this world some monsters you just got to be aware that they're out there and when they come in through the door you got to have the mindset and be ready to do battle with these fucking motherfuckers and repel their fucking attack and put them in the ground before they put you in the ground just a little little tropical afternoon shower folks and you know what it's already lit up enough it's it's not it's not enough to uh, deter me from walking oh, motherfucker scared the shit out of a brother all right looking back at the lollipop so i guess i'm still too early folks i got up way too early to uh to get out here and hang out at the bars which is probably a good thing but i did have a good time over there in sitting bull hello my friend how are you i did have a good time over there sitting bull talking to my buddies finding out what's going on in the world and just chatting it up with some with some fellow gringos over there got the hunk zone Cause I'm gonna pick up some uh, meat, cheese, and bread, and make some sandwiches. Me and Force G, we love them sandwiches. So we will just go pick up some stuff here at Angels. Let's see what's shaking in the world. Hello, how are you? Bread, groceries, and deli next door, please. So if you come to Angel's Bakery, you come over here to this side to dine in, eight to six, Monday through Saturday. And if you just want to pick up some stuff to go, you got to come over to this side somewhere. Oh, over here. You got to come all the way down here. There's a big change, a huge change at Angel's Bakery folks so they moved over here and these are certain things that you need to get when you're here like real butter real german beer 125 on the butter and then i'll come over here and get me and forest g some uh, some sandwich stuff so we like to eat sandwich stuff always good stuff here at angel bakery Swiss butcher, ham. Okay, so I'm looking for ham and I'm looking for cheese. Ooh, there we go. White cheddar and yellow cheddar. Okay, so there we go. We're going with the uh, yellow cheddar, 120. Farmer's ham, 185. Pastrami for 240. And I cannot get out of here without getting me a beer. Hmm. Got Erdinger. Ooh, there's Francis Connor. Folks, if you've never tried Francis Connor, you've got to try Francis Connor. I started drinking this down on one of the islands. That is beautiful. So I'm gonna get two two Francis Connors and I gotta get some bread. Hi Sir Marcus. Hello, beautiful. And I get can I get some bread over there too? The sandwich bread? This one? Yes, ma'am. One of those. Oh yeah, look at that, folks. And I need to get one more of those beers. Folks, nothing wrong with getting a couple Francis Connors. They got a great selection of German beer. Oh, did I get the, the butter? No, I gotta get the butter. There we go, get real butter, because the butter you get at the Sorry Sorry store is not real. And we're gonna come over here and check out the pies. Cherry pie, 80, you got blueberry, apple. You got these strudels. My goodness. And can I, 
Can I get a one apple pie and take one blueberry pie? One apple, one blueberry. Yes, ma'am. That'll work. All right, then we come over here and see if we need any foreign guy uh, sauces or anything like that. Ooh, got gray poupon, but it's three fifteen. Because look, the Thousand Island is one eighty five, and that makes a great sauce on a sandwich. And so we'll just we'll just maximize our spending power Boy. and go with that right there. One thousand three hundred seventy-five, sir, Marcus. Okay, one two seven five. One three seven five. One three seven five. Yes. Well, so let me just info about Angels Bakery. They're open now Monday through Saturday, eight to six. Um. But they're over here in their own little shop. If uh, if you're going for takeaway stuff, if you're dining in, it's at the same normal location. So let me just give you a, a view from the street here. <clears throat> there you go. So where this van is backed up to, that's where you come to get your takeaway stuff. Do your shopping. And if you want to come dine in, they're down here on the corner. Monday through Saturday, 8 to 6. Okay. There you go. So got the little outside sitting area, which is nice. All right, so in talking to my friend earlier, Alaska Club is open. So what I'm going to do is wait until next week to stop in there because uh, I want to have a have a little chat with her. Thumb stars open. Hello, ladies. Hello. Okay, so looks like looks like the thumb stars open. I'm going home. Beautiful ladies. My goodness. Folks, do you know the amount of willpower it takes for me not to stop in a Thumb Star with them beautiful ladies? My goodness. Look, the audio is muffled. It's because I'm wearing a damn mask on my face. You just have to deal with it, my friends, until uh, conditions change. Got these little shops here that were always open before. Even got the motorcycle parts. The uh, Harley shop here, looking for t-shirts and motorcycle parts. The Heavenly Care Spa and Massage is open. So this little bar down the alley, and if, if nobody tells you about it, you'll never go down there, but it says Alley Cat's Bar, or it's called the Alley or the Hideout. There's a little bar right there, that blue door on the left. It's a cool little bar. Not sure if it's open right now or not. So, got some construction going in this little area. sidewalk rejuvenation project it's like a never-ending project over here and once they get it done it's obviously going to be a huge improvement but it's like a never never-ending project that water coming out of there and again if you're uh, leaving these bars at night over here drinking just take a track home so you don't fall in one of these holes. Become a statistic. 
and a much talked about subject on the Facebook. All right, it's Queen Victoria. Not sure what the status is on that. And shout out to the owner, man. I met you over in Angeles God, over a year ago. Hope you're doing well. We got more construction going on here. There's a look at the operation. I mean, obviously this was dug by an excavator, but you know, we got two dudes over there working. Sort of like Sam in the U.S., you know, drive through some road construction. 30 dudes standing around, one guy working. So where I'm headed to now, I'm going over to uh, Fresh Options to pick up some meat. The meat that I want to buy. Because if I send the ladies, they come back with the meat that they want to buy, they want to eat. And it's okay. It's all, it's all fun and games. That's just the way it is. They're going to come back with some meat with more fat on it than meat. And when I go... You know, I'm buying, I'm buying boneless chicken breast. They go, they're buying fucking chicken with bones and skin and the most fat they can find. It's different in, uh, different in taste, my friends. But today, foreign guys out on the prowl. So I'm coming back with boneless chicken breast. I don't want, I don't want no fat on there. And I don't want no skin on there. I want to barbecue some boneless chicken breast. That's that's what the foreign dude is going to do. I'm excited about picking up this real butter. I really am. Just having that little bit of real butter taste on my eggs in the morning, my toast, if they make toast and cooking. It's just a huge difference. Yeah, that butter's a lot more expensive than the local butter. But these are little things you gotta factor in when you move outside of your home country and your diet, your palate, your food options change. Most places you can get exactly what you want, but you're gonna pay a premium versus what the local version which is readily available is you know so the local butter don't taste like butter to me i gotta go to a place like angel bakery and get some real butter all these little things you got to factor in when you think you're going to come over here and live for 200 bucks a month but you ain't you ain't never changed your diet or you you know your palate in your home country and all of a sudden you step out and you're trying to eat fish and rice every day to meet your budget sometimes it ain't easy it ain't easy being cheesy a lot of backed up traffic here due to the checkpoint going into Barrio Barreto Not blaming anybody just making a statement but folks my goodness what the heck are we building over here i have no idea what's going on in there folks they got a huge huge fucking facility going in right here big ass metal building in the back i don't know what the fuck they're building right here but it's coming on up and they closed that gate real quick. They didn't want me seeing a sneak peek at this little facility right here. I got no idea what the hell was going on there. My goodness, look at that jelly bee. 
All right, so I got to get back across the checkpoint here. Hopefully, nobody gives me any shit. We'll see what happens. If they turn me around, I'll go back to Thumbstar and get a room, spend the night, and I won't complain about it. That's what I do. So pursuant to executive order number 24, medical clearance, travel authority, thank you for your Folks, I got more travel documents than any motherfucker. I got every travel document known to the Philippine government. And they're all legit. I got travel documents, quarantine certificates. I've got a COVID test. I can tell you what, I'm the only person around here that knows they ain't got COVID. I'm about the only person that can say that. But I'll tell you, I got so many documents. I got so many documents that they weigh about 10 pounds. So I don't want to carry that shit around with me. Thanks, sir. Uh, no thank you, my friend. No thank you. Folks, this little market here is, my goodness, on time. All right, no thank you. It's a busy ass Saturday. We even got three for a hundred. Three for a hundred on the Buco. But I gotta get down here. I gotta get down here and get some chicken. from the fresh options i usually like shopping at the fresh options in Barreto, but earlier on there was a big line and plus i knew i was going to drink a couple beers so i just go down here to this one in subic well not in subic on the subic side of the river provincial, provincial health office i don't know if that's testing they're doing there or what Passing Santa Monica subdivision. And then you come right over here to this little cubby hole. Fresh options. Seven to seven. Please wear your face mask. A maximum of three customers. Put a little decontamination. And face shield. I ain't gonna fuck a face shield. I don't give a fuck. Hello! How are you? All right, what we got here? You got boneless chicken breasts? Oh, right here. How much is this? Two thirty-four. Yeah, per kilo. Two thirty-four. Okay, give me two kilos, please. Two kilos. The price one kilo and one bar. Together. It can be together. It's fine. So two thirty-four. 169 on this chicken but the you got pork loin too yes and then pork steak and then pork chops let's see 304 on the pork chops yeah that's pork loin 309 on the pork steak kilo? yeah two two kilos of chicken So that's about six US dollars on the port steak. So we're gonna get uh, what looks better. How about loin? Um, let's see. This one, huh? Which one's better? This one here? That's how, pork loin. How much the pork pork loin? 315. 315? Yeah. The pork is 310. Alright, give me uh yeah, let me do one kilo on the pork loin. One Meat and pork. And I got the meat with the least amount of fat, no bones, and the ladies, the ladies are gonna yak me about it. I don't, I don't care. When they go to the market, they can buy what they like. When I go to the market, I'm buying what me and Forrest G like. That's just the way it's gonna be, my friends. Now I gotta go over and get some vegetables. And 
I will take a trike back to stimulate the local economy and make sure my chicken don't get too hot. I mean, I'm feeling fresh to walk. It ain't no big deal for me to walk. But I'll do my part. I'll do my part, take a local trike back. All right, so let's, let's go over and see how the ladies at my vegetable stand are doing. Haven't seen them in a while. I know they're gonna be so happy to see me. My goodness. And see how much vegetables we can pick up for six or seven bucks. I'm so glad to see these jeepneys back. My goodness. All right, folks, beautiful uh, vegetables in here. Potatoes here. Hello. Hi. How are you, my friends? I'm good. Good. How much are the potatoes? 80 per kilo yes, sir. all right and then how much on the onions, onions sir. These, these right here 160 per kilo 100 on the tomatoes yes, sir. all right let's get some tomatoes too and how much the carrots 80, sir. 80 on the carrots yes, 81 kilo. A couple of these okra stalks. Yeah, two okra. All right, folks. So 400 something, about 10 bucks. 10 bucks worth of vegetables. And uh, not yet, my friend. Still looking. Let's see what we can see over here. Let's come over there. I want to check out the fish. I might get the old lady a fish because she loves fish. So I'll cook my chicken. She can throw down a fish. Mm. Come right up here to the corner. They usually have some good looking fish. Chopping them up. The fish over there, fresh. Still flapping. How much a shrimp? 120 for one kilo? Um, for one quarter kilo? Okay, yeah, just give me one quarter kilo. So 120 for one quarter kilo. That's half a pound. That's fine, we'll just put them in some soup. A little bit of shrimp there in the soup for some flavor. Chopping them up. You got an ice, a flock of ice down in there, keeping them fish cool and alive. And he just braise them up here, chops them up fresh. Thank you. All right, folks, now it's time to get out of here for my buttermilks. I didn't take a trike over there because I'm gonna take a trike over here.
These folks over here see me walking up and down this area more than the guys over there do. Folks, that's how you get a trike in the Philippines. You just hold your hand up or you say, trike! Or you hold your hand up and somebody else will say trike for you. No need to get in no hurry and get run over. How are you, sir? eat off of this for uh, several days. 